What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Divided Nations. So there's three main companies that are responsible for about 80% of the votes. Okay, you got the vote count machines, and you also have the cyber systems. Okay, so there's three main companies. You have election uh, system software, you have Heart InterCivic, and Dominion Voting Systems. Now, all three of these companies have an incredible amount of lobbying power. Now, for anyone that doesn't know what a lobbyist is or know what lobbying represents and what it stands for, I'll just break it down for you in a nutshell. Lobbying is legal bribery, okay? It's where individuals are able to use money and influence to influence a vote in Washington that allows a company to operate on a certain standard or a certain level, or just for the fact that they're able to get that government contract or even stay in business. You can look at uh, Big Tobacco as an example, uh, Big Oil, Big Pharma, um, how are they able to get away with a lot of the things that they do? Well, it's lobbying, my friends, legal bribery. So the more I'm digging into this, this goes deep, man. There's a lot of corrupt people. There's an entity uh, that I don't want to say right now on film uh, that also might be working hand in hand. I, I think that there definitely is uh, possible proof, I mean, that implicates uh, some, some individuals that, uh, that I'm, I'm hesitant to say right now, like I said, on film. So I'm going to hold off on that just for a, a moment. But as far as these three companies that, you know, are responsible for 80% of the vote in the United States, I mean, it's a lot of power. It's a lot of power that these individuals have. It, it turns out that uh, it approximately brings in, you know, uh, about $300 million a year. Um, it's pretty, pretty lucrative business. I think what needs to happen is to get people to start cooperating and start playing ball. Hopefully the FBI and the DOJ Department of Justice is doing their job. And if they are, I think that what needs to happen is the government needs to freeze assets. I think they need to freeze assets because of the simple fact that uh, that way people start taking this whole situation a lot more seriously. I think when you cut off somebody's money uh, and, <laughs> and stop them from being able to transfer or have transactions, you'd be surprised. People start to switch their tune real quick and become informants or whistleblowers or whatever you want to call it. I mean, it, it really comes down to right now a situation where um, even with the investigation, for example, the lawsuits that we're seeing. You look at Georgia as an example for the recount, right? I mean, Georgia, they're doing a recount, but they're not even matching up signatures. So it, it makes it kind of pointless, right? I mean, what it, it looks like a fake recount, like, like a dog and pony show, smoke and mirrors, like they're doing it all just to be politically correct. Like going through the motions because like that's what they're supposed to do. You know? It's crazy to me when I see all this happening. It's extremely upsetting. All of us that care about democracy in a free republic, all of us have a responsibility to do our part and start to expose whatever information one piece at a time and start putting it out there. Because everything that's going on right now, if this isn't nipped in the bud and these individuals that are responsible for tampering with the system, how can we ever have faith in the election system ever again? I don't see it happening unless there's justice. I mean, there's, there's quite a few people that need to be charged with treason. And the fact that these investigations are still going on, there's still a lot more potentially to be revealed really soon. 
But I think that as not just people here in America, but like I said, a call to Canadians, people in the UK, Australia, um, English-speaking countries, we all have uh, that love of life and liberty, a democratic system, you know, a democracy, a free republic. We all have, well, most of us have that allegiance. I think we all have a responsibility to do our part. And if that means even as much as just researching and posting information, I think, well, if we all do a little, we can all do a lot together. Thank you very much for tuning in to DN News today. Appreciate y'all. Please be sure to like and share. Check y'all in the next one.